perhaps even adding pizza mm -hmm. to the menu. Oh my gosh, but it is dinner time and all of that just looked fabulous. I Maybe know. with this gorgeous weather out <laughs> there. Oh my gosh. Get out on the patios, yes, people. Yes, dinner on the patio this evening. Not so mm -hmm. much Friday evening though. Yeah, that's exactly right, Casey. We are under a level three enhanced risk of severe weather Friday. Mm -hmm. That has not happened since May, wow. and that does include most of our area. But let's get through the good news and then we'll get to the bad news, shall we? Skyview, thanks to Cable's roofing and Tyler, does not look like we've got a lot of cloud cover in the sky. And we'll certainly take this. I mean, it's beautiful out there. 75 degrees is your current temperature. Winds are southeast at about eight miles per hour, and humidity, a non factor for this. Eve across the region. We are in the 70s across the board and as we look at satellite and radar, we kind of have to transition into the bad news. So here we go. Next storm system. It is up in parts of the Pacific Northwest. It's heading in our direction as we speak and as a result, we're not going to have rain tonight. We're not going to have rain tomorrow, but Friday that all changes. There's still a chance of a sprinkle or two off to the southwest of Tyler and Longview tomorrow, and this could actually be fog that's populating on the forecast model here, but chances are that we could have some gusty winds, so if there is fog in the area, it's going to lift by the middle part of the morning. That was 7 o'clock in the morning as we head into Thursday afternoon. Not a lot happening. The first set of clouds is going to move out. Clear skies will move in, and then the clouds will move back in as we head into your Friday. Now, let's go ahead and walk you through your Friday. It was 8 o'clock, but we'll start to see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms by 3. And this is dangerous in the fact that any individual storm that happens to break off from the main line, which is forecasted to form at some point in the middle afternoon off to our west, those are the storms most likely to rotate and produce those isolated tornadoes, which can be very dangerous. But after 3 o'clock, as we kind of transition into the evening, by six, I do expect all those storms to be consolidated into a line, and this will slowly push off to the east. This is seven o'clock right near Tyler, Gilmer, Mount Pleasant at that point. Longview, you get it about eight o'clock according to this model, and then it's still in the area by nine. We're seeing those showers and thunderstorms, and then we'll be watching that threat of damaging wind gusts, and any of these little Boeing segments has the potential to produce 70 mile per hour winds associated with the threat. Storms still in the the area through about one o'clock in the morning, but exiting to the east in Louisiana shortly thereafter that. But here we go. Severe weather threats, damaging wind gusts. That's the highest threat right now. I would say tornadoes, heavy rain, large hail. They're all secondary threats, but they're all definitely in play. So you're going to want to get that severe weather plan kind of rehearsed and revisit it before Friday because this is fairly significant. I mean, as I was mentioning to Casey a few minutes ago, Ago. We haven't had an enhanced threat of severe weather since I think it was May, early May, the last time we saw something like that. But Friday and Saturday, they're your best chances of showers and thunderstorms. Severe threats Friday night and early Saturday morning. 70s Sunday and Monday, upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then deep east Texas. Same deal, we'll be in the 80s the next couple of days. Storm threat starts late tomorrow or late Friday afternoon, rather, and then storms exit early Saturday. Saturday morning.